Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhad in which we would look at examples that deal with risk aversion and the Sharpie ratio. Every time I hear I, I mention the word examples, it means in the prior session, I already explained the topics of risk aversion and Sharpie ratio. Those topics are covered on the CFA exam as well as an essentials of or principles of investment course. As always, I'm going to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,800 plus accounting, auditing, tax, finance, as well as Excel tutorial. If you like my lectures, please like them, share them, put them in playlist. If they benefit you, it means they might benefit other people. Connect with me on Instagram. On my website, farhatlectures.com, you will find additional resources to complement and supplement this finance investment course, as well as your other courses. I strongly suggest you check out my website. So let's take a look at the first example. An analyst forecasts that the return of the market index over the coming year will be 10%. The one year T-bill rate is 5%. The T-bill rate represent the risk-free. The, the market portfolio, the market index represent the market. Examination of the return of the S&P suggests that the standard deviation is 18. So the standard deviation is 18. What does this information suggest about the degree of risk aversion of the average investor, assuming the average portfolio resembled the market index? So simply put, what, what we're trying to calculate is the risk aversion for this, for this typical portfolio. Well, first of all, you need to know the formula. What is the formula? It's the, it's the index fund return, which is 10%, minus the risk-free rate, 0.05 divided by the standard deviation but here not that we are giving the standard deviation we have to turn the standard deviation into the variance therefore we have to raise it to the second power so simply put the risk premium of this portfolio is five percent ten minus five equal to five percent now what we have to do we have to take 0.18 and multiply it by 0.18 so let's take 0.18 times 0.18. That's going to give us 0 0.324, 0 0.32, not 324, 0.0324. Now what we have to do is take 0 0.05, 0 0.05, which is the risk premium, divided by 0 0.0324, and that's going to give us approximate risk aversion of 1.5. Five, four. So that's the A, that's the risk aversion for your typical investor giving this portfolio. Now, what is the Sharpie ratio of the index portfolio in A? So what's the Sharpie ratio? Here they're asking us about the risk aversion. What's the Sharpie ratio? Basically, the numerator is the same. It's the risk premium divided by now. We're going to divide this by the standard deviation, 0.18, and that's going to give us 0.18. 28 for the Sharpie ratio. So this is how you compute the risk aversion. This is how you compute the Sharpie ratio. What do they mean exactly? Well, go to my previous recording or go to my website to get the understanding. This is just an example to illustrate the point. Let's look at another example. Suppose you forecast that the standard deviation for the market is 20%. If the risk measure of the uh, if the measure of the risk aversion equal to four, what would be the reasonable expected market risk premium? Okay, so what are we given here? Here we are giving the A, the risk aversion equal to four. We are giving the standard deviation of point two, the standard deviation, and we are asked basically to compute the expected risk premium. So we're we're looking to compute the risk premium and basically what we have here is basically a formula with one unknown formula with one unknown but remember we have to turn the standard deviation into the variance because because we're so we're going to raise to the second power and basically what we have is four times 0.2 times 0.2 is 0 0.04 and that's equal to the risk premium now basically we just have to find out what is 0 0.4 times 0 0.04 that's equal to 16.16 or 16 percent simply put the risk premium for this portfolio is 16 percent 16 percent 
what value of A is consistent with the risk premium of 9%? Well, what they're saying is change the 16 to 9, 0 0.04 in the denominator. What will be A under those circumstances? Well, if we do this computation, if we take 9% times the risk premium, it's got, uh, divided by the uh, 0.04 will give us 2.25. So let me ask you this, which which portfolio would you prefer? Well, obviously I'll prefer this portfolio because my, my variance is the same, 0.04, but for this portfolio here, my risk aversion is four and my return is 16. Obviously I'll prefer this one. Okay, what will happen to the risk premium if the investor become become more risk tolerant? So what they're asking is, what would happen to this number here, to the numerator, if the investor, if the investor now is risk uh, is more tolerant toward risk? It means they have less risk aversion. Well, think about it. What happened when you have more risk tolerance. So if your risk tolerance goes up, now you want to take more risk because you have more risk tolerance. When you when you are willing to take more risk, it means your risk aversion is going down. Your risk aversion is going down. You no longer avoiding risk. You don't care about risk. Well, as a result, if risk doesn't if risk doesn't bother you, if in other words, you are not asking for extra return against the risk because the risk doesn't bother you because if you are risk aversion the assumption is if you're risk averse every time you want to take more risk you expect more return now you are more risk tolerance which is the opposite kind of, of a risk aversion what happened is you don't care about the risk premium you tolerate lower risk premium why because you are risk tolerance you're okay you're, you don't care you, you don't want to be compensated for the risk because you're comfortable with the risk if you are not comfortable with the risk in order to take the risk you would ask for a higher a higher return so hopefully those exercises will help you understand the risk aversion and the sharpie ratio because those are examples i already explained them look in the description if you'd like to about the link for this playlist in the next session we will start to take a look at asset allocation across risky and risk-free portfolio because we kind of now we 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 uh, we explain uh, what is risk premium we explain risk aversion we explain um, how to m measure the, the the price of the risk in the market and we look at the sharp ratio now we are ready to kind of start to build a portfolio and allocate asset between risk-free and risky asset based on your risk tolerance as always i'm going to remind you to like this recording and if you're still watching it means you like it please share it put it in your playlist uh, let other people know about it and don't forget to check out my website farhatlectures.com for additional resources for this course as well your other courses good luck study hard and stay safe